Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my hair. So it looks kind of crazy right now because it is morning and I woke up like this. I usually like to shower at night. So my hair in the morning is kind of crazy because as I sleep, it molds into the shape of my pillow as you can see here sometimes i would lift all my hair up or sometimes i would leave it all down and sleep like this i actually have no problem sleeping with wet hair i know that's pretty bad for some people because you can get sick that way but because i'm so used to it that's just how i sleep so for today i wanted to show you guys my hair and what I have to do in the morning to tame it. Instead of curling it, I'm gonna show you how I straighten it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this organic argan oil to my hair before I start. I use an oil to smooth out my hair and also help with heat protectant. I usually like to piece it out like this. I take the oil, rub it onto my hand. So instead of just slabbing it onto my hair, sometimes that gets stuck in like chunks of hair so you want to be able to distribute it evenly make sure you focus on the ends because that's where all the split ends are and that's where it's most sensitive if you're going to use an oil like i do try to avoid the roots of your hair because that can make your hair look oily so you don't want that you want fresh looking hair just make sure you get it to the dry parts of the hair all right so for the straightener i'm using today this is from the croc brand and this is their classic straightener it is about an inch and a half. It's not the smallest straightener, but it's also not the biggest straightener. I don't like to use anything past this size because I feel like when you go to the root part of the hair, with a bigger straightener, it tends to be a little bit more difficult. I do use a little tiny straightener by Baby Bliss. It's like the size of my two fingers. And I typically use that one to straighten my bangs or like little tiny hairs right here that are so tiny it's really hard to go in with a bigger straightener so I use that for these little hair but that one isn't as strong so I've been on the search for a real you know straightener for the rest of my head so this is what I came up with when I was working a job I was doing makeup for a bride a hairstylist I met on site recommended a croc straightener and I also get recommendations from my followers on social media every time I post something about looking for a strainer someone would, re would recommend the croc brand so I was fortunate enough to be able to work with croc and they did send me this straightener so I'm actually really excited because even if they didn't send it to me I would have bought it just because so many people were recommending this product all right so let's get into the review when you look at this straightener it literally reminds me of a crocodile as you guys can see with a mouth opening like this and also it has the designs of a crocodile like this is their teeth as you can see there and then this is the skin with all the polka dots okay so I'm gonna flip this up for you guys so you guys can see literally looks like a crocodile this is probably the only reptile I'll be touching. Major, major secret, I actually have a phobia for lizards and anything reptile-like. It's bizarre. I like. I would start crying if you put him next to me. So, this is my pet crocodile. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and press the on button. This is already plugged in. So I'm going to press the on button. So you guys can see here, the on button is right there. So right when you press it, the heat is going up in numbers and I love that it tells you that it's going up and it tells you exactly how hot the straightener is all right so let me see how much it goes up to it's actually pretty fast you guys can see it's already at the 300s and it stopped at 410 typically I know some of the, the past straighteners that I have it stops at 400 this one is 10 degrees over so it is pretty hot okay, so I'm gonna start I always start with my bangs and I do a very light sweep with my bangs because this area of hair is very sensitive so you do not want to use so much heat in this area if you want you can lower the heat because it allows you to lower heat right here up and down button and I been loving products that has this digital feature so you can really see how hot and how much heat to use on your hair 
Okay, so mine is okay. I'm just gonna keep it at 400 because I like it with a little power, you know? And I don't like to spend so much time on my hair, so I feel like I really need the top heat. So I can just go boom, 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 done, out the door. Not bad. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my bangs on this side. Nice, very, very nice. You guys can see there, my bangs are straightened. And that was super quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the top part here. All right, this is where the problem is. I'm gonna see how fast the straightener would straighten this part. Pretty good. The time that you should be spending on each strand isn't a lot at all. And because the heat is on high for me, I don't like to sit for too long on that strand. Even though I go kind of slow, I don't go super slow and I don't go fast at all. I'm gonna try to do fast on this side, but this side I'm gonna take it kind of slow. So I get that piece of hair and I kind of just go slow down. And I feel like when you do take your time like that on a piece, you don't have to go back and straighten it later. So that's just less heat for your hair. You guys, that literally took like 10 seconds to straighten. Look how straight my hair is. Bomb, what the heck? This is what I've been looking for because I really want something that's effective, that's fast, that heats up super quick and has one feature to straighten. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you just don't want to have something that's multiple use because you get confused, you know? All right, so this is the result from just going super fast. Now, it's definitely a step up to what I had earlier, but look at this side and look at this side, okay? So this side, I basically took like just a tiny little bit longer and I get better results. So my recommendation to you is, I get it, if you're on the go, it's fine. You, you still get better results than what you started with, but I would definitely take like five more seconds to get this, because this side is bomb because if you're gonna put heat on each strand and you're gonna go fast, and then you have to go reheat that strand again because it's not as straight as you want it, you're basically damaging your hair even more by going this fast and this many times of straightening the same strand. So my recommendation is just go kind of slower. You saw how slow I was going and it wasn't even slow, okay? Just Take your time, kind of, and you get better results and your hair is much healthier and it's much happier. Okay? So I'm gonna go back again on this side to make it look like this side. When I would use my little tiny straightener for this part right here, it can never, ever straighten that little, like, curl I have at the end. But this one really definitely does the trick. Alright, so for the, the back part, obviously I can't see it. I'm gonna try to straighten the bottom part first so I don't see that curl out. Just take your time a little bit and just kind of hold the straightener at the curl part. That way, it will definitely straighten it. Even if it's stubborn, the heat will get to it. There you go. All right, so for the back part here, I just take this hair and I straighten it this way. All right, looks pretty good. Okay, so there. when you have short hair like this, I feel like this is the in-between stage for my hair. When I cut it, it was a little bit shorter, maybe by like two inches, so it was a lot trendier, I think, when it was shorter. So now I'm at like the regrowth stage because I don't know if I want short hair for my wedding coming up next year. So I don't know if I'm saving my hair or if I want to cut it yet, so I'm still kind of deciding. And I don't know if I want like blonde hair for my pictures or go back to dark. So I'm very rudy. <laughs> I just don't know what to do yet. So I'm just leaving it as is. So there's two ways that you can straighten, okay? You can straighten your hair like straight or you can give it a little like curve 
with the straightener by bending it inwards. So I feel like if you bend it inwards, you get like a little bob and that kind of, that kind of gives you an older, more mature look, okay? I almost said mom hair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it gives you a more mature look, definitely. So if you want like a trendier, youth, more youthful look, I would go just straight down. So this side has a little curve to it, as you guys can see, and this side is a little bit more straight. I'm gonna go ahead and match this side to this side. And when you wanna redo that curve, just pull it outwards. Not too much, because you don't want your hair to flare out. You just want it to pull it outwards a little. This straightener is pretty bomb, what? Okay. You see how different this whole complete look is when you just flare out and straighten your hair? Does this side look longer to you? Or is my shoulders crooked? This side looks a little longer. All right, you guys, this is my trick tips for straightening hair. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but you know, a lot of people straighten it Differently. Sometimes they straighten it in, sometimes they go outwards. This is how I like my straight hair for now at this length. I feel like I need to cut it two inches shorter or grow it out a little longer because this hair is, I just don't know what to do with it sometimes. <laughs> okay, you guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this straightener. I really love it and it's really hot. So make sure you turn it off when after you use it, duh. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this straightener if you guys have a chance to try it. And um, I believe the plates are titanium. Let me check. But it comes in a box like this and it's it says Ulta exclusive five year limited warranty. Looks like that. So you get it so you can get it at Ulta. It is titanium plated. And you know what? It actually goes up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So I guess it stops you at 410 just because that's probably the the normal usage. But if you wanted it to be harder, you can go up to 450. Wow. That is awesome. Number one professional choice for all keratin treatments. Smooth titanium plates allowing effortless glide. It was pretty easy to glide with this straightener. And ceramic heaters provide instant heat recovery. Fully digital 18 custom temperature setting creates balanced and humidity free styles 30 minute auto shut off safety feature that is nice because if you leave your strainer on it will turn off for you and that's why I love the digital features on all of these hair products all right you guys that's it for my video hope you guys enjoyed that and let me know what you guys think in the comment below if you guys have a croc or any other croc products Make sure you comment below and recommend it for me so I can try them all because I really love this first crock product that I have. Alright, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys later.